a quick look, a first glance. Yet without the name on the tail, it isn't that easy to see what is different. But look more closely, and there are plenty of telltale signs that this is a new aircraft. Let's start at the nose. A sharper, sleeker, much more pronounced nose on the front of the 787 with large side windows looked at from the front and just at the side. Well, it could only be the 787. Now look at the windows. Boeing has made a lot of noise about the fact the windows on the Dreamliner are much bigger, allowing more light into the aircraft. But what will really excite us will be the new technology. Innovative, interesting and fiddle with to your heart's content. You can make them darker. When you've got bored of that, you can make them lighter again. Oh yes, hours of fun. They call them the chevrons or maybe the cookie cutter at the back of the Rolls-Royce engines. It's probably the most distinctive part of the 787. Rolls-Royce put them there to reduce the noise from the engines and help the performance. If all else fails, then look to the beautiful wings of the 787. Everyone pretty much agrees the uniquely shaped wing with its sweeping arc at the end gives it a very distinctive profile. The wings, those carbon wings, very graceful, the way they're swept back, the way they unload when the plane lands, it's beautiful. Just beautiful. I mean, I think if you're if you're around airplanes, uh, you look for things that are fundamentally different and improved. The wings on this airplane are very special. With its four engines and double decker, you can instantly recognize the Airbus A380. But now you'll also be able to recognize the 787 Dreamliner, even when it doesn't have the name on the tail. Richard Quest, CNN at the Farnborough Air Show.